One thing is for sure, with the height, Kamavinga does feel like he can impose himself a lot as we send Jonathan David through. I'm going for the chip, it's worked. Yo, that's the best possible start we could have had. Oh, just look at how dynamic Renato is in midfield. Like, this guy is something else as he releases this one for Burak Yilmaz. And he scores as well. This is getting ugly. Champions League knockout rounds begin with Lille in this series. So, we finished second in the group behind Chelsea. We managed to get through Sevilla, which was pretty big. And now it's time to find out who we'll be facing in the round of 16. By the way, both games will be in this episode for the round of 16. The draw is going to be made right now and we'll be up against Manchester City. Oh my God. Our Champions League hopes for season one, which weren't really there, will be crushed today by the looks of things. Hopefully not. If we can somehow do what Leon did a few years ago and knock out City in the Champions League, imagine the scenes. Other games, Porto Atleti, Juve Man United, Bayern Barcelona. Some cracking games in the Champions League round of 16, but Lille Man, Man City, it's going to be a big assessment of, you know, how far we've come with the team that we've built. Last episode, of course, we wrapped up the January transfer window, making a pretty big signing in Kamavinga. That's just huge for the series, I feel. And also, looking at the Liga table, we've practically, you know, made ourselves very comfortable in the top three. But still, there's still a lot of progress to be made here, so we'll see. Two games against Manchester City, it's gonna be electric, guys. I just can't wait to see how we fared against a team like City. We've certainly got the talent on our day to beat them, but over two legs, that's where things get interesting. Now, if you guys are enjoying the Lille career mode, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. Your support's been incredible throughout this series. Let's keep it going. Drop a like, subscribe, and well, let's get on with it. Press conference to kick things off with Brodaric and Shalet Asar and potentially Guardiola. We're looking at a full Croatian defense. Would certainly be interesting to make something like this happen. Guardiola is one of the players I'm definitely interested in. He, he is pretty decent. 72 rated, age 19, good work rates, great pace. Next season, I'm definitely going to try and bring him to Lille. Let's see if we can pull this off. I think a defense with him involved. He can also play left back, so helps with squad depth. This could be a very smart signing to make come next season. Hopefully he grows in his overall by then. Next up, change Kamavinga's number to something like 8 or whatever you think. As long as he's not number 13. Yeah, you're not wrong. Number 13 on Kamavinga just does not look good. So, number 6 has been vacated by Andre. So... Why not give Kamavinga that? So he's going to be our new number six. Next up, day three of trying to get S2G to pronounce my nan like Mignon, like the en in Conte. Okay, whatever. So I, I've, I've kind of got what you guys are trying to say. It's not my nan. That's the meme. It is Mignon, I think. That's how I'm going to say his name or try to say his name from now on. But I might occasionally get it wrong. But you know what? Appreciate the French viewers on the channel helping me out with this one. I got a few DMs from you guys um, just telling me how to pronounce his name. So I appreciate you guys. So anyways, that's with the press conference done. Last episode, we saw a hat-trick of assists from Renato Sanchez in a single game. Like, that is just mental. And he also scored in the defeat to PSG. All round, Renato has been a leader in that midfield. Absolutely brilliant. And that's why, well, he picks up yet another Player of the Episode award. I'm actually nervous for this one, guys. We're up against City. First leg at home. Oh my god, where are City sitting in the Premier League right now? Probably top of the league, you know, knowing how good they are. But with Liverpool, you just never know. Let's see how Man City are fit. Third in the Premier League. Okay, it's a very tight title race with Chelsea, Liverpool all involved. Man City have been brilliant as well. Yo, we're up against it for this one. Two massive games coming up for us. The only bit of positive news I've got is in our last game, although it was against um, average opposition, we managed to win 7-0. A performance like that here against City surely could get us through. But against the big teams this season, I mean, yeah, we faced PSG and Chelsea. We haven't really delivered. So I'm not sure what to expect. If we can keep it tight... I think that'll be big. Letting City get them away goals here will just kill any hope we've got. So let's see how we can perform. I'm loving the look of that midfield that we've got. The attack is decent. Our defense is decent. But that City team is just outrageous with Koulibaly, Laporte, Aguero, De Bruyne. 
Oh, it's gonna be a big, big game. City in the round of 16. Let's give it everything. This man, Kevin De Bruyne, can cause us a lot of pain. Let's hope we can defend him well and not let him whip those crosses, which he's pretty amazing at. We're the massive underdogs here, but on our day, with players like Renato, Paqueta, Jonathan David... You just never know. Oh my god, it's already begun. Kevin De Bruyne, no way. He's just ball rolled. Mignon, see I've said his name right, but what's the point? Man City in seven freaking minutes have taken the lead. Oh my days, that is, that is borderline embarrassing. Look at the ball roll there. Oh my god. Ah, this could get ugly. This, this game could really get ugly for us. And uh, yeah, wow. My god, I didn't expect to be 1-0 down in 7 minutes. Wow, that's a good pass for Raheem the Dream Sterling. As Manchester City now have got complete control of the game. They can just keep the ball, just chill out, keep possession, move it around, waste time, go for more goals. They've got complete control over this fixture. We're going to have to attack and that's the worst thing you can do against City because you'll be leaving spaces. And right now we just can't even get the ball to attack. Finally, Botman with a challenge, but... Yo, this is going to be one of the toughest games we've played in this series. But on the flip side, it's a chance for a breakaway now. As here's Ikone, if he can bring this one inside, which he can. Looks for the ball in for Jonathan David. Gets it for Bamba. No, that was an interception. That was our opportunity, man. Had to make better of that, although we get it back. Paqueta now looks for Jonathan David. What a chance. Edison with a big save. Opportunities like this need to be taken. I'm not even going to try putting in a set piece. It just never works for me, man. Bamba with a cross in. Even the crosses never work for me. FIFA 22, hopefully crosses make a return. Because I feel like that is a kind of play that's very satisfying to pull off. But it's just not there in FIFA 22, 21. I'm going to call it 22 now. But anyways, Ikona here on the breakthrough. Let's see what we can do. I was trying another cross. I do not know why. Bamba now. We're keeping the ball well. Renato Sanchez... Trying to scoop it over the keeper. If he pulled that one off, that'd be just a violation for, for, for the city keeper. But hey, that was never going in. Ikone now looking for Chelik. I see a good run being made by Jonathan David. If he can turn, oh my god. Koulibaly's just too strong at the back. Man City going for more. It's Sergio Aguero now looking for Gundogan. Looking for that pass for Bernardo Silva. Shoots. It's straight at Menor, and that's why he survives. We're sending Ikone through for this one. Back in for Jonathan David. Now Lucas Paqueta, what an opportunity. No way, he's missed. So much power on it, and he's missed. Lucas Paqueta with a golden chance. Oh my god, that might be very costly. In fact, I think it is going to be costly. We had a chance to actually equalize against Manchester City, but Paqueta couldn't keep the composure. What a miss. What a freaking miss that was. And now City are going for more. We missed our chance. Oh, that's a clutch, clutch tackle coming in from Botman. But we just can't keep the ball. This first half has been very difficult. We've had our chances, which is the annoying part because we haven't taken them. And now they've got another chance. We get it away and that should be half time. Tough game, guys. But we could have easily been level with Man City. Oh, frustrating. Free kick from 28 yards. Surely not. De Bruyne's not going to put this one in. Yeah, Menor saves it. 28 yards, a free kick. We, if we would have conceded that, I'd be fuming, guys, honestly. Here we go, Jonathan Bamba. This is a big chance. Kuli Bali is so good. Did you see the pass he just played back to Edison there? The composure he has to do stuff like that is unreal. Uh, Raheem Sterling's pace. Chilik is nowhere to be found. Kamavinga can't keep up. Shalet Shah needs to defend this one. He's pushed him away, but Sterling has just completely ripped him apart. And Sergio Aguero scores and City lead 2-0. Our hopes and dreams in the Champions League are being crushed right in front of our eyes. Ah, annoying, man. So annoying. But we can't complain. It's our first season with Lille. It's going to be a, a series where we progress slowly. We're not going to instantly become the best team in France. It's going to be a bit of a grind. And yeah, Sergio Aguero scoring. And we're 2-0 down. They've got two away goals. Ah, oh, the fact that we had a chance early on in that first half, or late on actually, to equalize makes it even more painful. Paqueta had a big, big miss. Kevin De Bruyne looking for that pass. We can't afford to concede more goals. That's big from Botman. Saving a bit of grace there for us. Ah, oh, my God. It could be 3-4-0 in this game for City. That's how dominant they've been. Sergio Aguero, that's a class pass for Raheem Sterling. And now Manchester City can bring it forward. 
They're going backwards for Luca Digne. Kamavinga can't win that. City are just winning every 50-50 challenge, man. Another chance for them. Brodaric does well. But my God, has this been so, so difficult. Second half, we've, we've not even touched Man City going forward. It's been that bad. Even one goal at this stage would give us a bit of hope. Just a tiny bit of hope. And that could be immense, but we're just not able to break down Man City in the second half. They've just been too good. And on the breakaway, the threat of Raheem Sterling and all is just too big. Okay, finally, we've got a chance to get in behind it. Kone has done really well. Still, Kone tries to, you know, curl it past in. But oh, the defending from Man City has just been on another level. Oh my god, Kevin De Bruyne could make it 3-0. There goes any hope we've got of making it out of this Champions League group. Or oh, not the group, the knockout stages. Man City just on a completely different level. Celebrates with Pep Guardiola there. Kevin De Bruyne 3-0. We've just been pumped at home against Man City. And that that is basically our journey over. We're still going to give it a go in the second leg with nothing much to play for. But yeah, it's just been really brutal. And I'm, I just keep thinking, what if Paqueta scored in that first half? That could have meant a completely different game. And there you have it, guys. One of the most embarrassing games I've played in this series. City were just so much better. Even against PSG, we at least put up a fight. But Man City here, uh, they just blew us apart. Meanwhile, we're just going to smash through a few Liga games on the Sim. Let's see if we can, you know, get back to winning ways we can. Good to see Paqueta, Yazici all involved. 4-1 against Bordeaux. And as I said, guys, the first offer that comes for Mike Mignot... We're going to have to accept it. I said this at the start. He has left the club in real life. We're going to have to accept it. It's nowhere near his release clause that we put. But still, it's only fair that we do. Especially since we sold Samari to another club. So we're going to still try and negotiate and get this fee up just a tad bit. And of course, this transfer will only go through next season. So we will have Magnon. Or, yeah, I think that's how I said. Uh, I've said his name right. We'll at least have him until like um, next season. So, they're only willing to pay 25.9. Let's add, let's maybe try 27 and just, that's probably the last offer. If they go below that, yeah, 27 million works for Dortmund. Yep, we are actually selling Mike Magnon. Yikes. Offer for Ikone from Juventus, but it's outside the transfer window. Plus, for these kind of players, we're going to keep with the release clause. So, if any player... If any club actually pays their release clause, then we've got nothing we can do and we'll have to let them go. We're getting through another game in the league. Uh, let's just keep the grind going and it's another win for us. Bredaric scoring early on to give us three points. Interestingly enough, we've got ourselves probably the easiest draw in the Coupe de France. Um, it is USL Dunkirk. I'm pretty sure they're a second div team, so we should be getting through the quarterfinals no problem. This is our only chance at a trophy this season. And I want to win this. And there you go, guys. It was difficult. Only 2-1, but we got it done. It's happened, guys. Mike Mignot has been sold. Pain. Pain, 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 pain. Next season, we'll have to look for a top-class keeper. But this is what we decided at the start of the season. If offers come for him, we were going to accept it. And Borussia Dortmund have managed to steal him away from us. And... It is what it is, I guess. We're going to keep smashing out the simulations in League uh, The focus is now on that second game against City. Just a bit of hope, but we've lost here. And Botman has picked up an injury. This is not good news for us. Well, the good news is it's only four weeks. Yep, he'll miss the game against City. But then again, we don't really have much hope of going through. So I guess it's fine in a way, but still... Four weeks is quite a bit. Even with the defeat, guys, we're now looking very comfortable in that second spot in Liga. Four clear of Marseille and, um, of course, 20 behind PSG. PSG are so far ahead. I think in Liga this season, we won't really pay attention to it all that much because there's nowhere we can go. It's, we can't go up. We can't really go down. So, yeah, pretty weird situation to be in. This is how we're lining up against Man City, guys. Renildo plays centre-back in the absence of Botman. Yep, that's how bad the state is. And Man City, of course, going with practically the same 11 they went with. Of course, Fede Valverde now starts. We're, we're, it's pretty hopeless, but still I want to see if we can even like close the gap down a bit. Second leg, City, Etihad Stadium, a trip to, of course, Manchester. Let's see if we can at least put in a respectable performance and go out with dignity. I'm not sure what our plan is for this one, but it's at least try and beat City here. I think we can do it. We've got the players... But yeah, I don't think we're going through. 3 nil is just too big of a scoreline to, of course, overcome. And we might get an early goal here. Jonathan David goes for the chip. 
Oh my god, it's off the crossbar. That is just so unlucky. We've just had no luck whatsoever. That was a ridiculous attempt from Jonathan David, man. Honestly, oh. Oh my god, Sergio Aguero could be through here. That's big defending right there from Bradaric. Oh, as we survive that, but when Man City get forward like that, it's just so scary. Here we go now with Jonathan David. Solid, solid pass for Ikone. If he can bring this one inside, which he can. Here he goes, Ikone now. Space to do damage. Good pass in for Paqueta, but again, he gets marked out really well. On the breakaway is where City just become unplayable. Like, look at the passing here. Aguero has just been so good. Rodri, Fede Valverde, and then of course they have the, the ability to just slow the game down to their pace and their tempo. And it just makes us so ineffective. And look at this, Kevin De Bruyne through on goal. How does he get that one through? Uh, Manuel, I have no idea, man. That's Kevin De Bruyne of you. I'm pretty sure he scored like three goals over the course of the two legs. That's mental, honestly. Uh, Manchester City just giving us a footballing lesson in this series. We've got so much progress to be made in this series, man. It's actually a bit mad. Huh, here we go. 4-0 down in aggregate. Paqueta now looks for Jonathan David. Paqueta again. Jonathan David now Paqueta. He's got to score this. I'm being smart about it. Uh, very unselfish from Paqueta. But considering a shooting record lately, that might have been the smarter play anyways. We've got a goal back, which is a big achievement, I feel. 1-1-1. In this game, the goal here is to just try and beat City at the Etihad. I think that'll just give us, you know, a bit of... We'll just make us feel nice, I guess. That's all I can say right now. We get a goal back. It's 1-1. Jonathan David scores for us. Come on. Ikone. Oh, that's a very intelligent pass for Paqueta. Here goes the Brazilian. Cut back for Ikone. Oh, my God. That is so bad. Why? Why did Ikone do that there? Aguero. That's a good challenge and could start a breakaway. We haven't seen much of Bamba or even Ikone properly in this game. Just goes to show how good City's fullbacks have been. Half time. My only goal from this game, as I said, is to just get a bit of positivity, a bit of morale, I guess, because we're out of the Champions League. There's no two ways about it. But if we can beat City, as I said... That'd be pretty big for the morale of the team. That's good defending from Renildo. One thing I'll say, at the back, Renildo has put in a very good shift. For him to come in and play as a centre-back was not easy, but he's done a very good job. Oh, here goes Ikone. First time we're seeing him do damage. It looks for Jonathan David. Of course he scores. That is superb from Ikone. For once in this game, he managed to get the better of the City fullback, beat him. And of course, the cutback was smart. And Jonathan David does not miss opportunities like that. We're actually leading at the Etihad Stadium. Funnily enough, if we manage to score a couple more goals, I think we'll be going through. Let me just do the math quick. I think, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. If we scored a couple more goals somehow, we'll be going through. And City would have done another embarrassing Champions League exit. You know what? You know what? Maybe there is a bit of hope. Kamavinga, they're getting the better of Kevin De Bruyne. Just what do you want to see? And he's driving it forward as well. De Bruyne stopped chasing him. Looks now for Paqueta. Here we go. Good pass in for Kamavinga. If he can get there first. Koulibaly. Of course it's Koulibaly there. Huh. Man City are just exploiting the fact that we're committing way too many players forward. And now because of that they've got Sterling on the charge here. And they're just going to try and waste as much time as possible man. I'm going sliding in a crunching challenge on Sterling. That's going to definitely be a booking. But... Sterling needed that for wasting time, man. Like, come on. I don't want to concede from this set piece. And we don't. That's good. Uh, header there from Kamavenga. Now Ikone driving it forward. I see Bamba in space. But that was such a bad pass. Koulibaly stopped that like it was nothing. Smart from Aguero there. And, and City just uh, keeping the ball well around our box. And we can't even... Uh, I'm just... Yeah, I've lost my head here by the looks of things. We just can't keep up with Man City here. Another chance for them. Aguero... Looks for it for De Bruyne. De Bruyne scoring, what, his fifth goal against us now? Gets the equaliser, and that settles everything for Man City. They're going through. We already knew that, but we put up a great fight. We can be proud of that. Getting a draw at the Etihad Stadium, I think, is still a fairly big achievement, guys. There's that, but... Yeah, I think it's De Bruyne's fourth goal against us, but oh well. I think we're going to have nightmares about Kevin De Bruyne after this game. The man just ripped us apart. Oh, my God. Kevin De Bruyne. Fair enough, I guess. Just unreal from him. I'm just keeping the ball. There you go. We're out of the Champions League. Man City knock us out. Fair enough. Can't complain. We put up a great fight in the second leg. So 
we've got to like pat ourselves on the back that you know we can on our day compete with teams like City next season we got to improve the team and just bring a bit more consistency smashing out another game in league uh just you know keep the progress going and it's a draw I guess the morale has definitely been affected with all that happening but ah uh, yeah got it got it getting knocked out of the Champions League so early but hey we can't expect to win Champions League glory I guess in like just one season or half a season with Lille. That's just not going to happen. I guess the approach for the rest of the season is going to be a quick fire one. We're probably going to sim Lyon as well. Then what we'll do in the next episode, we'll play the cup games against Star Dreams and hopefully a final and even Marseille. And with that, we'll just wrap up the entire season in like the next episode itself. I feel like that's a very smart thing to do because there isn't much to play for in this season apart from the cup. So yeah, I think we're going to do that. We lost to Lyon as well. We're losing a fair few games, guys. Next episode, we got to start bouncing back and getting some wins. Kiesa for Lyon. Wow. All right, so we're in the month of April. Next episode, we're going to fire through the end of the season, hopefully with a trophy. Oh, this is definitely nice. Botman is back, so he should be available for the cup semi-finals. Late of the episode, I'm definitely thinking it's got to be Jonathan David. Scored a brace against City at the end. He had to get us a draw, so yeah, definitely him. With that, guys, this is where we're wrapping up today's episode of the Lille Caremo. Next episode is going to be uh, the season finale, so... Yup, let's hope we can end the season with a trophy. That's the goal. But if you guys are enjoying the Lille career mode, the grind, the difficulty of the CDs, keep the support coming in. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.